Hello, fellow hyper spinners. Hope hope everybody's doing well. Good morning to all our friends in the UK. Um, I guess everybody's still ready for and or getting ready for the holidays here through our Thanksgiving weekend. Everybody could use the break, I'm sure. Um, I wanted to create one of the first videos here for the uh, hyper spin and retro arcade worldwide group that we have. Um, so I kind of wanted to. I know, you know, some people have inquired about, hey, how do I get this running? How do I get things set up? Things like that and within our group. So I kind of wanted to run through real fast just a couple of key points, not necessarily giving a full tutorial or anything on this, but we just kind of give a breakdown of, um, you know, how, how you get a first system going here. And I know there's a little more detail in this and, and some of you guys that are out there right now, if, if you know, for our pros on the group, hey, disregard this video if you you know if you don't need it obviously you don't but um anyways just to kind of show a layout a basic breakdown of how i've got mine configured is um <clears throat> this is my key drive which is my export x drive which is really just a, a external c8 drive but everything is that i've got set up basically runs out of this drive and, and the reason i've got an external drive is i can unplug this go somewhere else, plug it in with a few, you know, different configurations I could be up and running. So anyways, um, we'll start with the hyperspin directory here. <clears throat> I won't go into the details of going out and downloading them and stuff like that. I, I do know now that we're running, I guess, uh, hyperspin 1.4 and then there's the update to it. So, you know, again, I'm not, this is not a video a how to more or less. I mean, it's showing a couple of things, but I don't want to get into the fine detail of how you get it all installed, unzipped, etc. But uh, I will point out just a few folders here. Um, I'm going to try to make this as fast as I can because I'm going to upload it and and then just try to get some feedback and see. And you know, if, depending on the feedback, if we could try to do some more videos, we we will later. Uh, just depending on on you know what people think about it. Anyways, database directory. That's where more or less all your system XMLs are. What is game pointers? Shows you, hey, these are all your ROMs. Pushes them out. Your emulators obviously speaks for itself. Today specifically, excuse me, we're going to work with MAME. Seems to be a very popular system and some people want to see it. Um, again, I won't go through all these different folders here. But you do have another one that's somewhat important is a hyper HQ folder. And, um, you know, I mentioned that earlier, like if you want to set up your wheels, delete wheels, if you're not using all of them, you would do it here. If you want to set up an executable where you're launching a game directly through Hyperspin without using Rocket Launcher. I know it all kind of sounds confusing right now, but I'll try to clarify some of it here, hopefully answer some of those questions. Anyways, your Hyperspin, that's your application. That's what more or less runs everything. That's the 1.4 version. Let's get back out. Rocket launcher is your other important one. This is really where everything, um, as we mentioned before, your back end. This is, um, I'll go ahead and launch it. This is where everything happens. Here's where all the magic happens, the back end. So everything works here, but if it doesn't work here, then it's not going to work, or the likelihood uh, of it not working and then hyperspin is very high. Let me change the resolution here. I changed it because I'm using my phone here and try to let me kick this back up a little bit so the entire thing fits on the screen here hope that's better there maybe harder to read let's see here but I think all of this will fit now apologize for this give me one second here okay here we go I think this is better Okay, back to the lesson here. So what we're gonna concentrate on primarily is gonna be on the left pane here. So first of all, uh, this is kind of self-explanatory, but select a system. You've got all your systems here from Atari, Daphne. I've added a jukebox and have Cody in there, some other stuff. But again, we're gonna just focus on main as I think most people have. They wanna get that running. That's, uh, you've got tons of ROMs out there for MAME and you know, it's been battle tested. So it's a good system. 
Anyways, so on the left pane, obviously it's main when you select it. To the right of it is, is all the settings that are pertaining to the system itself. Um, I've got the ROM path right here, obviously. Um, if you if you select it and you look at it, it'll show you all the different uh, ROMs. And, and here's the directory that I'm using here. And again, this is on an X drive, um, which is an external drive. But you can set it to C drive, whatever you want. Uh, I've heard different reasons why not to use a C drive. In case you have to reinstall your system, that kind of thing. The default emulator that I'm using, and I've already pulled it down. And I'll show you guys here in a second where that is. But uh, is the main global um, some people are a big fan of the retro arc stuff now I know Jose and those guys were talking about it how that's pretty nice on some systems you can actually do the entire thing here anyways um, setting here here are your modules so you'll have to set this in place because you've got a lot of the modules that you have to tie in and, and that's one thing that I didn't really understand when I first started working with this because you had uh, the rocket launch piece, you had the main, you had the global settings, you had the ROM path, you had the default emulators, and then you had the path of these um, modules that, that obviously you have to have. And um, the zip extension is, is really the majority of the ROMs that I have. But if you had other extensions, then you could just add them right behind it. And it would just be a longer list there. And that's how that would be set up. Um, I won't go through the rest of these. Like I said, I'll, I'll stay away from the rest as they can get pretty bad. But these are example of the, uh, the modules here. Um, there's this specific version, the emulator version, and then the author. Uh, DJ VJ seems to have a lot of, do a lot of this work here. Does a lot of really good stuff. Anyways, I'll, uh, let's minimize this here. And we'll go back to that folder structure that I was talking about. And the folder structure out here to this X drive and I'll show <clears throat> what we're looking at so within rocket launcher obviously you saw the emulators we're using the main emulator which is within this directory here again if you go in this uh, folder you see the breakdown of everything you see that main executable that's really what it's looking for and we're showing the paths here here's all my ROMs in here and that's the setup here like I said, I, I'm just pushing this video out, and, and I know it's going to be a short one, but I just kind of want to get, you know, some feedback of what, you know, some maybe some people want to see, and if, if you know, I'll try to show that if I can later on, and if, uh, obviously, if I can't answer the question, I'm sure somebody else here on the uh, group itself can, but uh, anyways, <clears throat> these were the settings, main, there's a module path. The default front end that we're using, and this is something that you're, you're going to have to set in place, is hyperspin.exe. Um, if, if you have an X here, which I'm sure you will, originally, uh, you know, when you first launch it, you're going to have to point to the uh, exact location, and you'll set that here. There's going to be other, you know, kind of gotchas on here, and like I said, it's a it's a work in progress a little bit, but it's not. Believe me, guys, it's not. Um, to the point where you'll never figure it out, but it's a, it's going to have some trial and error on most of this. Anyways, I've got this in place. I'll go back. We'll test it now. We'll go ahead and launch a hyperspin here. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, watch it work here real fast. I've got this really cool intro on here, and this is credit again. I don't own this, I didn't design this one or anything like that. It's pulled from the MU movies, and um, you guys get on there and get a membership. And I believe it's a plat if you get the platinum, we will get FTP access to all their files, and you'll be able to pull some of this stuff here. So let this load here. Okay, so this is what the main looks like. And again, these themes, you can pull these themes down. I added this one. This is not the, you know, this is not the default when you load it, <clears throat> but you can add it later on. So let's go ahead and go into this game here. This system. Excuse me. Here we'll view our favorites. I left all the favorites there. So as you can see, you've got all these different ones here. These are some of the ones that I added as favorites. 
you know, a lot of these. And the list goes on and on. But this is this is hyperspin here, and if you wanna, if you go right on your, I'm using a keyboard, but if you have like a, you know, your, you have your joystick and stuff like that, that'll take you right, that'll take you right to it. <clears throat> Whatever game you want to play. So we'll launch this one here. And there it goes. So again, guys, I won't <clears throat> take any more of your time. This is already 10 minutes, and I know again. For some of you guys are getting ready for the holidays and tomorrow or you know Thanksgiving and stuff like that. Hope you guys have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Again, good morning to our friends out there in the UK and thanks for all the stuff you guys post and all the information. Like I said, waiting to get some feedback on this. So if you guys like this type of stuff, we'll continue to do some maybe. And if, if you guys don't, then we'll throw it out. Anyways. Talk to you guys soon. Cheers.